What's up, everyone? This is Jeremiah from Jamrock35, and whoa, boy, we got a lot to discuss. So first thing first, they discussed about the movie itself. Uh, they were saying that it's gonna be released around uh, November 2019. They didn't show us a trailer, but it does sound a little bit promising, and I hope it has a great success. As well as Nintendo with their uh, Super Mario Brothers movie created by Illuminations. Um, hopefully. But uh, let's move on from that and talk about the greatest things. Sonic Mania is now going to have their physical release. <laughs> I'm that caught me off by it caught me off guard because I just literally bought the digital version because well they're not going to make a physical release and yet here it is and it's like. I probably should have waited for it. <laughs> but, but this is not just Sun Mania on a physical disc or a physical uh, cartridge. No, this is Sonic Mania Plus, a upgraded version of Sonic Mania, including multiple modes like this Encore mode and two new playable characters, Mighty and Ray. I know, I know, no. We. Mighty and Ray is a big deal because they only appear on a small amount of games. And now since being Bark and Fang Fallen, they're just uh, illusions, have their own appearances in the main modern days. It's great news to see Mighty and Ray back. I don't know what their gameplay is going to be like. Maybe it's going to be similar like, um, well, Sonic or maybe something different. Who knows? It, it might be great. <laughs> and it's coming out around this summer, so get it while it's hot. Um, you know what? Here's the thing. Uh, you seen Ties to Test as the animated intro for Sonic Mania? It was great, fantastic. It feels like amazing. It, it, it's like Sonic CD, except Ties to Test is <laughs> taking control in it. Looks so fantastic. Now, what people were saying about it was Tyson has to make a TV show around the, the Sonic characters at least. Tyson and Sega should actually make a cartoon series around them. Not like exactly like Sonic Boom, but something similar. <laughs> They literally just did that. They grab Tyson Hats and ask him, Hey, do you mind making those uh, uh, animated cartoons for uh, Sonic Mania? Sure, but what should we call it? How about Sonic Mania Adventures? Great! That's a great idea. Let's do it! Sonic Mania Adventures is born. And <laughs> wow. Just wow. When I first saw it, I was just so amazed of it. I, I, I mean, it is okay. It's like Tom and Jerry without the slapstick comedy, and action speaks louder than words. And it's just wow, just <laughs> wow. Uh, apparently, they're going to be developing these uh, cartoons once per a month on YouTube, and it's free. So. To react. Well, actually, I'm going to do a react video either way because I am going to do it. <laughs> uh, right. So, uh. And then there's a little bit of discussion about IDW Sonic, which we don't exactly have a lot of news. They're just basically explaining about this new character, Tango the Lemur, and. The premise of the story it's gonna be released around april so i'm really excited for that oh yeah and also they included mystical jungle in sonic forces speed battle mm, well i'm pretty sure there are some people who are really thrilled to see it or some people who really don't care but honestly I, that's great that they decide to do that i wonder if it could be like Maybe there's going to be slides and such, who knows. But back on topic, uh, there is also 
the Q&A questions. Now, there are a lot of funny ones, like big ah, I mean, it's a video game, I mean... Big Fishing Adventure 3. Sounds very promising, I can't wait for that release. But there are some important ones. One question, however, that irks me in the right way, and how Sega actually answered. Are they ever going back to the modern age, or the Avenger age? And one look at their face gives us a little smirk. Saying that they already did. This is so weird to me. Mainly because, well, every time I say they should do this, they literally just did that. Like, what, Boba? I said, this is plain so simple. They should try something new. Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild, everyone. Sega like should take their time of developing their game. Well then, Sega did take their time. They uh, polished uh, Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice, Sonic Mania, and while yes, Sonic Forces was a great success, it was not that bad. In fact, I had some enjoyment with it. Now, hearing this, however, it just sounds very promising. Let's hope that they keep their end of their work. But, get it back on point. The biggest thing of them all is one thing. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, seriously, I really want to have these type of shoes. But in all honesty, the biggest extra of them all is a little secret tray that they decided to showcase it. And it's none other than a race game. Yeah! It looks like Sega actually finally take, uh, decided to take their time with it and decided to take a break from the boost formula. And while a racing game is, is great to see them back, it, it, it's perfect. Now what type of racing game is a different scenario. We don't know what it's going to be like. For all we know, it's going to be sub the cinema with all stars, only with Sega and Sonic characters. You know, like Vector, Chummy B, SVO, etc. But the more I thought about it, the more I think, what if it's a combination of all the racing games they created into one? Like, having Sonic R, or uh, or um, Sonic uh, Riders, and Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing all combined into one? Now that would be something interesting now, wouldn't it be? But... But that's just a little small bits of speculation, so I really don't know. So, this is Jamara from Jump Rock Thirty Five. Stay jumped up and have a little bit of